Well today, I'm gonna to show you how to do slow motion in Premiere Pro. Hey there, thank you for checking out Video Editing with Tyler White. I'm Tyler White and I've been a video editor for about eight years. So if you're looking to increase your skills editing video, tap the subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't miss a single video. All right, so once you have Premiere opened up and you already have your footage imported, I want you to check out over here my frame rate. So I shot this video at 120 frames per second. The rule of thumb is the higher the frame rate, the slower the slow motion and the smoother. So keep that in mind whenever you're filming your videos. If you want that clip to be in slow motion, I recommend shooting it at a higher frame rate. So for now, we'll go ahead and we'll drag this footage over here into our timeline. And we'll go ahead and scroll down to the point where we want to start, which right here is fine. Press C on our keyboard, we'll split that, select the excess and just ripple delete. Also, if you don't know how to cut videos in Premiere Pro, I did a tutorial on that as well. I'll go ahead and link that in the YouTube card so you guys can check that out and then hop right back over here to this tutorial and push on. But for now, we're going to go ahead and carry on with the tutorial. We'll just make this a little bit bigger. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, I'm going to go down to speed duration, and I'm going to change this down to 30%. And then I'll also change this to optical flow. What I recommend is you don't go any lower than 30% because when you do inside of Premiere, it starts making your video look really, really choppy. Optical flow is going to make it look nice and buttery smooth. Don't forget this step. Press OK. And it's going to make this nice and red. And it's going to slow it down a little bit. All right. So what you're going to do is make this big. Press N or I for N at the beginning. And then go to the end and press O for out. And then all you're going to do is go up to sequence and you can press render into out. And that's going to render that inside of Premiere. And then it's gonna, this red bar is going to turn green and it'll be nice and smooth and you'll be able to see it in real time. So let's go ahead and undo this, undo this. All right, we'll, I'll show you another way. So say we don't want to do that and we only want to slow motion a small portion of the video. So we'll click, we'll right click on effects, click, click on time remapping, go click on speed. And then I'm just going to make this bigger so it's easier to see. And then you'll, what that did is that created a line here. We're just gonna press P on our keyboard, go to the spot that we want to start the slow motion. And let's say, I wanna start here. So all I'm gonna do is make a keyframe, press B to bring back up our arrow. And then we're just gonna drag this down. And by dragging this down, what this is doing is it's making it nice and slow. As you can see, the percentage is dropping. We'll drop this back down to 30% as well. Let's just say 35. And as you can see, it, it made it nice and slow, nice and long. And what you also want to do, don't forget this step. All right, since you weren't able to select optical flow there, you have to go down to time interpolation and then press optical flow there. And that's going to bring up that red line, make it nice and slow, but that's what we want. And keep in mind, after you render it into out, it's going to be at a normal speed. It's not going to slow it down. So, the next way that we can do this, just go ahead and undo this again, undo my keyframe, is we can press R on our keyboard. And what that's going to do is going to bring up this tool right here, the Rate Stretch tool. And what you can do, and this is what I think is ideal, especially if you're working with a lot of clips inside of Premiere, is you can drag this. You can click and drag, and what that just did is that just slowed down your video down to 52%. And then all you have to do is right click on that, go to time interpolation, press optical flow, and you just did the exact same thing. So let's go ahead and undo this, undo that, okay. Press V, actually, we'll just delete all of it. What I wanna show you is what happens when you do this. So remember, like I said, with 120 frames per second, how it makes all the difference if you're trying to shoot slow motion footage. What I recommend is shooting all your footage at 24 frames a second. That's going to make it look the most cinematic. For those of you that are trying to get that cinematic B-roll, what you're going to want to do is right click this, go down to modify, interpret footage. And then we're going to change this because inside of Premiere it recognizes it as 23.976. What you're going to do is you're going to type that in 23.976 and then press OK. And what that does, we're going to import it into our timeline. And what that does is it already made it longer and it already made everything slow. And it's going to be at 24 frames a second though. 
So it condensed down all those extra frames and made it nice and slow. And we'll play this back so you can see. Which method worked best for you? Let me know down in the comments. I'm still a keyboard shortcuts kind of guy, but everybody's different. All right, that's gonna do it for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something new. And if you have a quick sec, if you could drop a like on the video because every little bit helps. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Also, if you have specific tutorials that you would like to see, post them down in the comment section below and I'll definitely check those out. Thank you so much again and I'll see you in the next video.